What is happening, everybody? Luke Darling here. I'm super excited to be able to share this information with you here today. This is probably one of the most impactful strategies uh, based on the feedback that we've gotten with from our clients, everybody that we've helped over the years. Um, and so I wanted to share this with you so you had a very clear understanding on um, how you, you know, the different ways to grow your business and some of the most um, useful and effective things in today's market. So we are going to go over today how to add 10 new referral partners and 10 to 12 new leads a day by providing real value so that you can build reciprocity, loyalty, and shift that power dynamic of your relationship. You know, this is, um, you know, we're, we're gaining control um, and we are uh, putting our position putting ourselves in a different position where we have control. So <clears throat> we're going to get into uh, some of the stuff that is going to allow you the opportunity to develop a competitive advantage so you are able to stand out from the crowd. And as I mentioned, giving you control over your business. That is a huge one. Um, and then this is also you know, putting us in a position to be able to you know, differentiate ourselves, have a unique value proposition. So when we go out and we're talking to potential referral partners, you know, it's not that I got good rates and I got good service. You know, we have something of value that we can bring to the table that's meaningful for them. And that's driving business. At the end of the day, that is what a referral partner relationship is about. It's about referring business and if it's just a one-way street then you don't hold the cards in that relationship <clears throat> and if the wind blows the wrong way guess who's out on the curb so um so to get some context to what we're going to go over today i want to kind of uh, shed some light on how things have been done in the past and this is you know networking cold calling going to open houses all of the traditional ways that people have been taught on how to grow their business. Now, the problem is, is it's not that these things don't work. The problem is, is that they do work. And that this is probably one of the, the most challenging things with this is, you know, these tried and true principles of growing your business work. Um, and, and that, in and of itself is the actual problem. See, most companies, they don't teach people how to fish and go out and get you know more business themselves when it requires resources. So th there's really two ways. I mean, it's the, you know, this is how we've always done it and this is what I was taught, so that's how I'm going to teach it. And there's no fault. Like, I don't see any fault in that because it's, you know, if you're going to teach somebody how to do something, you should probably have been able to do it yourself. So that is just a natural way of growing your business. So we have these, these mentors and these business people that teach this way of doing business because they don't know any different. That's how they grew their business. So that's how they're going to teach their employees and their people to do it. And then on top of that, you know, it costs them nothing. But what it costs you is it's your time you know it's it's putting in the years and years and years and years of work to grow your business um and that is so it's good for the company you know and, and that's probably one of the big reasons why there's such a high attrition rate in mortgage and real estate i mean you're talking close to 80 percent a lot of times uh for people who are are, are new to the business within the first five years i think <clears throat> so we're going to get into, um, and, 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 the, and here's the thing, you know, things have changed. You know, your partners, your clients, people do business differently today. They do business differently from when, you know, the methods that are being taught, you know, those are from a different generation. You know, before, you know, spawned from before we had, you know, before everybody was online. And I, and I always like to say this, and it's, I think this rings true. It's every lead is an online lead. 
I don't care if it's from a referral partner. It is a referral partner. Um, it is, you know, somebody from your sphere of influence. Everybody is online. So we, we need to take that into consideration um, and, and be able to use that to our advantage and leverage that in helping us grow our business. So one of the big shifts um, that we've seen is in the dynamics of the previous how business was taught to be done in the past was to build these relationships with your referral partners, ask them for their business. And the problem is, is it leaves us in this position where we are, you know, almost begging for business. You know, we are sitting there with our hands out saying, you know, please, sir, may I have some more? Um, and it is, you know, you're, you know, if, if one thing goes wrong, guess what? They're off to, you know, the next person that can get, you know, get them what they want. So without providing value to the relationship, you know, this is a situation that, you know, most people find themselves in and it's a, you know, there, there's, there's nothing really else to bring to the table. So, um, Traditionally, we've seen, you know, this is, you know, the old way of getting business you have over here of where we are very, you know, we got our, our, our home buying journey here. You know, that it starts off here and this is typically where the referral partner gets in contact with the homeowner. And it wasn't until the very end of the home buying journey where the, um, where, where we would come in contact with the home buyer when it was time to get pre-approved. Now, the, the, the times have changed, opportunities have changed, and with that, you know, we have a new opportunity of getting in front of our marketplace and getting these home buyers earlier on in the, in, in the home buying journey before they have a real estate agent to work with, before they're working with somebody. And this is what allows, um, if you're in a loan, if you're a loan officer, to be able to get that lead pre-realtor and give that out to them as a referral. So we are shifting, uh, changing the game, flipping the script, and we are getting the referrals to give them out rather than sitting there with our hands out. So this is putting us in a position where we are. You know, we are now a beacon of light where people come to us, where we are, we control the relationship and have significantly more leverage in that, um, in that scenario. So I'm going to break down with you exactly the, you know, how to leverage leads, how to leverage our partners and what exactly that is going to entail. So um, with this, uh, we're going to break down you know, bringing value to the relationships by helping market existing properties and sending new opportunities to our partners, both buyers and sellers. So what exactly um, does this look like? So we're talking about marketing a single property um, of our referral partners on their behalf. So um, a, a single ad for a single property is the you know the the mechanism that we are using in order to bring in new opportunities this is super super effective in today's market um you know you get a high volume low cost buyers a lot of these home buyers um and and leads opportunities that we're getting that we're seeing coming in you know are existing homeowners as well you know because uh especially if you're in a low inventory market you know, homeowners don't want to sell their property before they have something else kind of lined up. So you get a lot of seller opportunities as well. And believe me, if you're in a position where you're handing out listings to your referral partners, they're not going anywhere. They will love you forever because you're just handing them a big check that they're just waiting to cash. So the some other benefits on this is people are closer to the buying cycle. You know, they're actively in the market shopping. Um, and this is just, I mean, I, I, hopefully it goes without saying, you know, this is just an amazing way to explode your referral partner relationship and bring real value. So 
uh, kind of give you an idea of you know what exactly this looks like you know we are we're talking about running paid traffic ads to a, a single property listing so there's a couple different options and, and kind of things to do just to kind of give you some examples you know you have your gist listed your coming soon your open houses where we're, we're marketing these properties on behalf of our, our referral partners. Now, the really cool thing is on these is, you know, you have the ability to attract the right type of people with the right offer. So kind of an exam some examples of this is like, you know, if you are wanting to, you know, market to a specific school district or a specific price point or homes with, with pools um, or home offices, whatever, whatever that may be, you know, you have the ability to attract the kind of people that would want what you're marketing and offering. Now, one of the most amazing things on this is you have the ability to reach as much of your marketable area as you want um, with this. I mean, it, you're literally just cranking a dial and you can get as much new business. Um, at, it, it's, it's insane. So how does this structure and this dynamic work? And what are we seeing that's working really good right now in today's market? So Here's an example of when we have a, you know, you're over here and we have multiple agents. You're able to scale this model um, very significantly. And the cool thing is, is for every agent that you want to bring on that you're working with, you know, we should be expecting a deal to two deals per agent back on a monthly basis. So if you want to grow your business to 20 deals a month, you know, it's, it's a matter of just adding in and you don't need to work with 50, 60, 100 different referral partners. You know, you can have um, a, a group of, uh, of, of loyal referral partners that consistently send you business month in, month out. And because you have, you're bringing value to that relationship, you know, you hold the cards. So if somebody's not sending you business, you can kind of hold them accountable and say, hey, what's going on? I haven't seen anything from you, you know, for, for a month. Are you, are you doing okay? And you can truly come from a place of like empathy and uh, a position of wanting to help them. And that is going to speak volumes for, um, you know, for down, down the road. So kind of give you some ideas of like examples of what something like this looks like. So here's an example of, uh, of an individual leveraging an open house strategy. And you can see here, there's over 400 leads sent out to a referral partner here and in less than a week leveraging an, an open house strategy. That's just an insane amount of, uh, of opportunities. It's probably a little bit hard to see on this, but you can see over here there is um, 33 cents per, uh, per opportunity here, 20 cents per conversation right here. So just the the economics on this are just insane. So um, kind of give you an idea some of the really cool things that allow that you know because we have this type of volume coming in, you know we have the ability to actually plug in our referral partners and automate the process of not only sending the opportunities directly out to them, but completing the follow-up. You can see right here. Two different campaigns we have one that has a 50 percent response rate this one's got about a 42 percent response rate um and all of that is it completely automated to the point where you don't have to do anything so it's a, it's a process of, of filtering out the people making sure people who are serious are actually moving the ball forward so um trying to give you a a, a a framework of what this looks like you know we're talking about uh first phase one you know installing that direct to consumer when you have that competitive advantage and that gives you control of your business, you then have the ability to um, to grow your referral partner base. You have a unique value proposition. You're able to stand out from the crowd. So it's just an amazing, amazing way of, of being able to grow your business. And I want to share something with you right now which is that you can take, this is a, you know, an unadvertised bonus that I want you to take out right now and go implement today. Um, I can't stress that enough. Take action, put this into place. So this is a post, this is an organic post to help you 
generate referral partners. Demonstrate to you the power of this becoming a lighthouse, being able to attract people to come to you and to begin the process of doing business with you. So you can take this, and here's an, here's an example. Um, uh, Harold posted this exact post into a group. Um, you know, who do you know that's an awesome real estate agent in the area? So you can post it in a local Facebook group that you're already a part of. He had, oh, you know, 232 comments on this post. So once you begin that process, you naturally have all of these inbound, all these referral partners that, number one, they, they know who you are and you have the ability to begin establishing a relationship and explaining to them how you can help them grow their business. So you can you're, be in a situation um, just like Sean here is, hey gang, just pre-approved a buyer for 400000 from an ad and referred them out to one of my realtors. Um, he was, uh, and I love this, only ran ads for a week because he was too overwhelmed with all the activity. You know, so that is just the, you know, good quality problems, I would like to say. So if you are interested in implementing um, something like this into your business, you want to see if this is the right fit. Go ahead and grab a uh, schedule call. Um, you can, uh, you know, 10, 15 minutes just to figure out whether or not this is a good fit for you and your business. If it is, we can kind of break down exactly like what that would look like, um, how we can help you, um, if we can't help you. Uh, and if not, if we can't help you, um, we have a ton of really good connections and, and um, you know, can connect you with somebody else who might be a better fit and or even provide you with some additional resources that might be a better fit for, for where you're at right now. So um, if you are interested in learning how to implement this stuff in your business, go ahead and, and grab uh, a time to chat. I look forward to seeing you on the other side.